Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora's Clinic. In this series of videos, I'll be taking you through the different options of fat reduction that are available to you in the market, going through the pros and cons, and speaking to a real life patient who's actually had one of those procedures done. Picture the scenario, you're scrolling through Instagram and Facebook and you see loads of tips and tricks on two minute abs in three months and eat this for a flat belly, but for some of us, those exercises are just simply not enough to remove those stubborn pockets of fat that we might have, say, around our love handles or in our inner thighs. And no matter how hard we hit the gym and how hard we diet, we just simply cannot remove them. But first up, let's get the basics on fat. During our childhood and adolescence, we develop a set number of fat cells that are distributed in our bodies and remain with us throughout our adult life. And it's the size of the fat cell that increases or decreases depending on whether we're gaining or losing weight. This is why people struggle to shift weight in certain areas, because even though they may be just as healthy as the next person, they have an uneven distribution of fat cells. So for example, if you were to hit the gym five days a week rigorously and you're losing weight, then those fat cells will shrink in size. And conversely, if you're gaining weight, the fat cells will increase in size. And it's this that's the foundation for many fat reduction procedures. Broadly speaking, there are two main options for fat reduction. There's invasive, which includes things like liposuction and vasoliposuction, just to name a few. And there's non-invasive, which is based upon primarily heating the area or cooling it down to extreme cold to reduce the fat. Today I'll be focusing on the non-invasive options that are available for you. It's really important to note that with the non-invasive procedures, they are aimed at people with a BMI of under 30 who have a healthy, balanced life and who do still regularly exercise. It's also important to note that if you are having one of these procedures, following treatment, you do still need to keep up your healthy exercise and balanced diet as well. First up, let's talk about cryolipolysis. Cryo means cold and lipolysis means fat reduction. So the name gives it away, but essentially the fat are subjected to cold temperatures. Now the main brand that is out there at the moment that provides this is called Cool Sculpting. These guys have been FDA approved since 2012, so they've been around for a fair amount of time and they do have a lot of studies under their name to support their claims. But how does it work? Pockets of stubborn fat are subjected to cold temperatures from plus five degrees centigrade to minus 11 degrees centigrade. And it's this cold temperature that breaks the integrity of the fat cell itself, causing it to die without affecting the subcutaneous layer of skin. Now this method of fat reduction is currently licensed for the tummy, the love handles, the legs, the underarms, and under the chin area as well. It is said to reduce fat by about 20 to 25%. Very often, patients will need up to two or three treatments in total, and treatments can set you back about $450 to $600 in total. It sounds great, but what's actually involved? Well, for this particular procedure to be successful, you need to be able to pinch a good amount of fat, as the two plates will have to suction onto that layer of fat. The procedure itself takes about 60 minutes in length, and that means if you're having two areas done, you may need to be there for two hours, unless the practitioner has two machines. You will also need a post-treatment massage, which can be uncomfortable for the patient. Other common side effects that people tend to report is some numbness, some tingling, maybe some swelling and some bruising, which all tend to settle down over time. It's often recommended that you massage the area after treatment, every couple of days, perhaps for the next month or two. And that's because you'll get something called induration. But what's induration? Induration basically is where you get a bit of firmness under the skin. And on a cellular level, it means that the fat cell is dying. So it's a good thing to have, and eventually your body will flush out that fat cell. By massaging regularly, it encourages the blood flow around, and so it reduces that induration a bit quicker. You tend to see your final result at two to three months, and you may need a follow-up treatment or two afterwards. In terms of permanency, well, as long as you've destroyed those fat cells, they will no longer come back. However, any remaining fat cells may increase in size with any major weight changes. Okay, Dr. Nora, that sounds great, but I'm not really a cold kind of person. What other options are there out there for me? Good news, if you don't like the cold, you can go for the extreme of the hot. So another treatment that is out there is heating the area using laser. <laughs> One of the brands that is responsible for this is called Sculpture. Now these guys have been around since 2015 and they are also FDA approved. They're licensed currently over pretty much the same areas as Cool Sculpting, which includes the tummy, the muffin tops, the inner and outer thighs, underarms, and more recently the under chin area as well. How does this work? Well, 
Similar to cool sculpting, plates are applied. However, with SculptSure, you don't need to have a suction, so the plates are nice and flat onto the skin. The temperature again varies from 42 to 47 degrees Celsius, which can be quite warm. But it is this high temperature which affects the integrity of the fat cell, therefore destroying it so that your body can flush it out. Treatment times tend to be a lot shorter, about 25 minutes, and it is said that it can reduce fat reduction by about 20 to 25%. Did you notice any difference in the end? In this uh, fire region, I did lose a centimeter and a centimeter and a half in the oh, diameter. Okay. On, That's interesting. On, on the so there was mm. some movement there. You can also treat two areas at the same time, so you don't need to double up in the treatment time. And you also do not need a post-treatment massage. You will, however, still get some induration under the areas that have been treated, which will be recommended that you massage the area regularly just to help remove those fat cells from your body. Again, treatment is expected to be seen optimally around the two to three month mark, and some patients may require up to two treatments. This one's slightly more expensive with treatments going up to about $600 to $700 in total. Now with any procedure, there are side effects and patients will commonly express that they get some tingling or maybe some numbness over the area. They might feel a bit of a pinching or a burning sensation, but this is usually quite short lived. So it's about eight seconds per cycle. I'm at the medium setting, I think it's one point something. 1.2. 1.2. You can go all the way up to 2.0. For now I'm being conservative, the only reason why I'm doing that is because I've got two legs. I don't know whatever I do to this leg, I'm gonna have to do the same with this leg. So I'm just saying, let's do 1.2. Let's. Let's do 1.2 and, and it's really good. And once again, for this form of non-invasive fat reduction, the fat cells have gone and they've been destroyed. But it is vital that if you are having any of these procedures that you don't become too complacent and you continue on with your healthy exercise and healthy balanced diet as well, just to prevent any of those remaining fat cells from increasing in size again. Join me in the next video where I'll be speaking to a patient who's actually had non-invasive fat reduction. We're gonna be talking about what the procedure was like for him and the million dollar question, whether or not it actually made a difference. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please drop me a line in the comment section below or pop by and see me in clinic. But for now, take care and stay healthy. Right, gotta to get to the gym now. Whew, had too much cake today. <laughs> and cut.